see. I don't. We don't really have any Abbott stuff, so Kurt won't be bidding tonight. No. Okay. Oh, Jerry or I are always yeah. ready to pick up the slack. We're ready to jump in. Yes, to drop off. But check this out. It poops a little car. How cool is that? Oh, who's that? <laughs> mm, there's a big blade in there. Well, Tam, before you start. Got Jeffrey Landis, Robbie Levensbaum, Scotty G. It's ready, ready, ready. He's had a lot of coffee today. Tim, what's going on? So we have a few friends uh, tuned in already. Aaron Hart, how are you, friend? Do you need your coffee done, baby? Mm. Okay. Oh, it's all gone. Kevin Long. Hey, Kevin. David Trot, how are you, Mr. Trot? Have you recovered from the weekend? Look at that camera work. Whoa. Hey guys, what's happening? John Sterlini, we're here live in Colon, Michigan, the Magic Capital of the World. Woo! Seems like the enthusiasm with that builds every single week. This is awesome. Well, thank you for tuning in. Um, you may know I'm here kind of by myself. Jay had. Um... You're not really by yourself. Um, Jay had some uh, some dental work done this morning, and he's uh, yeah. So that's why it was. Uh, deal of the day with Jay OHN this morning, so I uh, might be filling in tomorrow, so sell, send Jay some uh, well wishes, and we actually have one of his items, so uh, we're going to bid that up tonight and uh, put a bunch of money in Jay's big box of his wallet. Is that what it is? I don't know. Anyway, um, thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, uh, yes. we have Carl and yes. Nikki and Jerry kind of monitoring the uh, monitoring the phones this evening so any comments questions go ahead and we'll uh, do our best to answer so jay for tuning in hope you're feeling better hopefully we'll see you in the morning so uh let's get to it so first up we have a set of buddha tubes and these are in rough shape but this would make a, a great uh, display piece let me show you the the veneer uh is separated from here i mean there's some issues with it and it does not have the load it's just the two tubes. But if you guys are looking for a nice vintage looking piece to put on your shelves, uh, there you go. Again, these are not in pristine condition, but they do have a nice vintage look to them. And again, they look great on your shelf. So there you go. Buddha tubes. Let's go ahead and start off with a $5 bid on that. Next up, we have a Malini egg bag. We have um, Charlie Miller instructions with an egg. And the bag, and this is brand new, so it's a lightweight plastic egg routine. And the bag, and again, this is Malini style, and we'll show mm. you the gimmick right there. So, there you go, Malini egg bag. Let's go ahead and we'll start off at uh, five bucks with that one. So, speaking of eggs, we have probably one of the nicest looking eggs for silk to egg ever. This is a nice ceramic egg. Um, mm. Nice and smooth. It does not have a routine or silks or anything. It is just an egg. Uh, this is, uh, again, I mean, look at that. That Up close, I mean, Tamara does not look. It looks that real. looks real. So it looks like beautiful. It out of the fridge. So, again, just the egg only. Let's go ahead and start off with five bucks egg on bag, that. $10. So, we've sold uh, a few stratospheres over the past few months, and mm -hmm. some of you may recognize this, some may not. This is what the original Gung Ho box uh, looked like. This is a uh, grant, and we're selling just the uh, the Gung Ho box. So this is, you know what's funny is when I try to screw this up, I do it properly. I, I understand. <laughs> anyway, there we go. Oh, it looks good for my end. So this is the Gung Ho box that came with the Stratosphere. This is Grant, and uh, this is in really nice condition. Uh, the springs are tight. Or, um, sorry, the hinges are tight. Uh, the gimmick nice. is in place. Uh, paint overall is in 
really nice shape. I mean, there's a couple little marks here and there, but overall is in good condition. So I'm going to start off with uh, how about 10 buckaroonies on that. Next up, we have Tommy Windsor's uh, Super Silhouette. And this is a, a comedy routine. I'm not going to get into the whole bit because, honestly, I don't remember this. We've sold a few of these probably about a year or so ago. And this is basically a routine that has Uncle Sam in it. And you cut out the, there's actually two pieces to it. Let's move it down here so we display it. So, and there's your silhouette of Uncle Sam. Really, you could take this same idea and use, um, you know, anyone and do your silhouette, cut it out, and so on. But this is put out by Lee Jacobs, and that is called Super Silhouette. And cool routine. And let's go ahead and start off with a $5 bid on that. Next up, Topsy Turvy Bottles, another item we've sold to. Uh, several of these over the past few months. This was made by Magic Crafters out of Canton, Ohio. Turkey turvy, topsy turvy, whatever you want to call it. it does have instructions. Tubes are a little, uh, little out of round, a little beat up, uh, but it does work. This has the uh, cardboard gimmicks and bottles are in good shape. Nothing else, if you need a duplicate set of bottles for a Mac or whatever, uh, these would work really well. So uh, let's go ahead and start off with a $5 bid on, on that. Topsy Turvy Bottles, Magic Crafters. Next up, I honestly don't know. Um, we have the instructions this for the uh, seven keys of bald plate, bald, pa bald hey. pate. Thank bald you. Pate. Um, but this has five keys one, two, three, four, five. Uh, it works very much the same way. You know, you put a bill, whatever, inside here and uh, lock it. One key uh, works a lot. Now, most of the time this is a bill and whatever. You put a $100 bill or something. But if you really got creative with this, you could uh, apply this to like any season. So let's say Christmas, this is inside um, a little Santa bat or a little stocking. And then each kid, and it could be a kid, selects one and finally the last one unlocks the uh, the lock or for Halloween maybe this is inside a uh, a little plastic pumpkin so again it's kind of taking a little bit of creativity and uh, applying it to an, an old effect and again this could be a certificate to um, you know visit Santa Claus a Christmas ornament a, a bag of Halloween candy whatever that Santa so. would have some good ideas for Abby hmm so Santa could give out the keys and something? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So anyway, let's go ahead and start off with the $10 bid on that bad boy. Siberian Chain Escape. I'm sure everyone has owned one of these uh, at one point when they're starting out in magic. Difference with this, was, this one is, um, this is probably the nicest version I've seen with this. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but uh, the chrome plating on this is just beautiful. This is a nice heavier duty. Um, version of Siberian no. Chain Escape. It also has... Chain. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it. Um, and it also has a nice lock with it. does not have instructions, but um, I'm sure you guys know how it works. <laughs> Siberian Chain Escape. Let's go ahead and start off with five buckaroonies on that. Next up, Wonder Glass. For those of you that are not familiar with this, um, Ventriloquist uses this, uh, but it's a cool comedy piece. Basically, you have a glass that is filled with milk, and you can put a straw in it or whatever and hold it up in the air and pretend to suck on the straw, and the milk visibly drops down. So, and again, ventriloquists would use it. Um, you know, they'd pretend to have a drink while they're up at stocking or whatever. So, Wonder Glass this is in really good condition. Um, still some water in it because I tried it earlier. Sure. Yeah, it works really well. Let's go ahead and start off with five bucks on that. Maybe Alyssa needs that as a Christmas present, Mr. Trot. Wink, wink. Hmm. Hmm. Sam. Next up, Emergency Card by Danny Archer. This is a, uh, in fact, there's some cards in here, blah, blah, blah. Um, basically, you force a card, and then the card appears. And check this out. It just spits out a little card. And underneath is the selected card. So, and what is it? I got it by accident. 
Hmm. But yeah, emergency card, Danny Archer. Let's go ahead and start off with a $5 bid on that. Cash paddle. This is, well, obviously it's a paddle effect. Uh, there's rubber bands. We do not have the rubber band, just getting instructions in the paddle itself. It is nicely made in wood. Um, you have coins and bills that appear, disappear on this, and then end with a mirror. So a cash paddle. Let's go ahead and start off with five bucks on that. Appearing champagne bottle. This was put out by uh, Accent Products in Germany. I remember having one of these as a kid back like 40, 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, this is basically a balloon to champagne uh, bottle production. Just thought about that. Why is like a 10 year old kid was like producing Why would a bottle you of champagne? That? Because uh, you're mad perfectly like natural. Party? You know what I was doing? I think I was smoking a cigarette while I was doing that too. I bet you were. Yeah, probably. Yeah, whatever. So you blow up a balloon, you have this basically hidden in your hand. There's a pin right here. You'd pop the balloon and then you'd have your uh, half a bottle of champagne. So nicely made in plastic. And again, that's put out by Accent Products in Germany. Let's go ahead and start off with five buckaroons on that. Yeah, <laughs> great shelf piece. Uh, fill the house. How to success successfully promote your show in a theater uh, by Jim Snack. Uh, it's actually listening through uh, through this a couple days ago, and there's some really good information. It is a CD, not a DVD or VHS, um, but it talks about how to uh, promote your show and sell seats. So, some good information. Why don't we go ahead and start off with five buckaroonies on that. Waltzing Matilda. Um, for those of you that have been to the Abbott's Convention over the years and remember Bob Little. What, what was his tagline? The, the Wizard Wild that was? Wild. The Wizard of Wow or something. Yeah. So anyway, uh, the, the Waltzing Matilda, he would promote this thing and did a, a great routine with this. Um, Let's go ahead. This silk is actually, I would replace this with a lighter weight one. It's a little chewed up, but maybe even like a uh, diagonal cut. Seems to be a little heavy for the gimmick, but anyway, uh, still fun. Anyway, uh, Waltz and Matilda. Let's go ahead and start off with five bucks on that. Uh, uh, oh, thanks, Kurt. So, if you've ever dreamed of being a master manipulator, Forget all the, the work, uh, you know, studying for years and years. All you need is this. I, I mean, how cool is this? So yeah. I, I, I wasted all of that time taking Chavez just so I could go, bam. <laughs> Jeff McBride, eat your heart out. Oh, my God. Does that look cool from over there? Say yes, girl. Yeah. Oh, Carl, yes. maybe you need that. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so basically it's just a, uh, a silver dollar uh, attached to a thumb tip and just kind of palm. Now, you can also get a, like a coffee can, bucket, whatever, put a couple of, um, put like a large coin in the bottom. And as you'd produce it, you just would hit the edge of the can and the coin that's in there would shake. So it sounds like you're actually producing a coin. So, um, yeah, we have that. What do we have that listed as coin production gimmick? Yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with five buckaroonies on that. Mm. So we have some VHS tapes. Ooh. Yes. So what is VHS? Very, Very happening, happening stuff, stuff there. Self-levitation video. Ooh. And it is just what you think it is. Uh, you two can be, uh, oh, jeez. Wow. Totally, total brain fart. Yeah, I wanted to say Steve Pearson. Um, David Blaine. David Blaine. Thank you, Kurt. So you can learn how to do the self levitation. So, yeah. The Bone Gucci version. And next up, we have Daryl's ambitious card video. This is also a VHS. V wow, y'all. VHS, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yes. Okay. Um, and next up, we have a VHS of David Roth Expert Coin Magic Made Easy. This is volume 11. And this is the, uh, uh, I was going to say Okito. Yeah, Okito Coin Box Magic. So different routines with uh, Keto Box. So there you go. Feather Flowers. This is a five bloom. I have no idea who the manufacturer is on this. Um, I like the colors. The colors are nice. 
Uh, a little thin in here with the uh, foliage. the foliage, but um, yeah, flowers themselves look great. Packs up pretty small, so there you go, feather flowers. This is, okay, I have a copy, copy of the instructions. This is not a Thayer, so don't get too excited there, Randall. Um, but these are the instructions that go with it. This is not the correct size handkerchief that goes with it either, but we're going to include it. So this is a, a solid through solid. You have the handkerchief that is uh, pinned to the frame, put it in a newspaper, and then you poke a uh, knife right through it. Pull it back out of the newspaper, and handkerchief is still intact. So basically, this gets pinned on here, and this slides down. Knife goes through the paper here. You're ready to pull it back out. That goes back into place. Handkerchief is there, and all set. It can be signed, borrowed, whatever. So, uh, solid through solid. And last up, this is actually Jay's. So, put some bids in because... He has a million dollars due to his dentist, so bit high, bit often. This is a tip-over box, um, and I mean, look at the beautiful paint job on that. You just don't find quality like this just anywhere. <laughs> I love the orange and yellow. That's awesome. Uh, it does need a, a little clip right there to hold the door in place, and... Other than that, this beauty could sit on your shelf. So, tip over, tip over vanish. Let's go ahead and start off with five buckaroonies on that. So, those are the items for this evening. If anyone has any questions or anything you want to see, go ahead and chime in. And um, if not, we'll start closing some items off. So, Tamara, how are we doing? Uh, solid for solid is what? That uh, is the uh, frame. frame. Got it. All right, so let's do a quick recap. Appearing Champagne Bottle, five, Lilo. Booty Two, six, Kent Dickinson. Cash Pedal, five, Jason Lieb. The Coin Production Plum Gimmick, uh, $20, Gary Mains, Ming Man. Waltzing Dancing Matilda, eight, Gallagher. Malini Egg Bag, 10, Mickey. Emergency Card, nine, Kent Dickinson. Gung Ho Box, 10, David Trot. Seven Keys to Bald Pate, 30, Robbie. Silk to Egg, 10, Dan McGinnis. Solid through Solid, 5, Gallagher. Topsy Curry Bottles, 5, Bob Whitmatch. Uh, David Roth, Okito, VHS, Frank Gata, $5. Wonder Glass, $5. And Fill the House CD, $10. Scotty G, let me get caught up. All right. Well, Tam is uh, getting caught up. If there's anything you guys want to see, any questions, go ahead and chime in. And uh, well, what should we close out first, Miss Tamara? I don't know about it. I can't. Mm-hmm. Buddha tubes together. Buddha tubes, yes, both. Fifteen the two items tubes. together. Dean. Well, I think what we'll do, we'll start down on this end and we'll close out uh, the Buddha tubes, the Malini egg bag. And again, that comes with the Charlie Miller routine, the egg and the bag. And then here we have the uh, silk to egg. And that is just the egg, no routine. Uh, go to the uh, Gung Ho Box, Super Silhouette, and Tricky Bottles. And how about we do... Dirty on the Buddha. We'll do the keys. So close those items. So go ahead and get your final bids in because we're going to close this out quickly. And again, I don't believe these are the original instructions to this set, but we're going to include that... Uh, Basically, the routining and the instructions the same. So, so any questions on anything? So, how, uh, Buddha tubes. Where are we? Buddha tubes are at thirty. Ben Cohen. Okay. The Malini egg bag. Egg bag is at ten. Mickey. Okay. Silk to egg. Silk to egg ten. Dan McInnes. The gung ho box. Gung ho box is at ten. David Trot. Super silhouette. Super Silhouette is at 13, Gallagher. The Topsy Turvy? Topsy Turvy, 10, d, d And the Keys? Keys are at 30, Roddy Levinsbaum. Booty Tubes just went to 35, okay. d, d So I do want to do want to make sure that everyone is aware. This uh, this has seen it's some bad. use. Um, 
you know, this is a great display piece. It does not have the load tube. It is just the, uh, the tubes themselves. So there you go. So we'll give Tam a second to get caught up and then we're gonna start closing some things out. Paddle. So Cash pedal is at five, friend. Topsy turvy, 15. David Carl. So not an egg that you want to drop, by the yeah, way. It is not plastic, crack. it is ceramic, but that is a that's a mighty fine looking egg. Okay. Oh, oh, so what do you think? Should we close some stuff out? Let's uh, close out the VHS. Well, that's way down there. Let, let, okay. Okay. All right, let's start out with the Buddha tubes and we'll close those bad boys. 35 DV. We're at uh, $35. And once again, we're going to close out these items right here in the next minute or so. So get your final bids in. So $35 on the Buddha tubes, and $35 going once, $35 going twice, and sold $35. Dean V. Dean v. Thank you, Dean. And next up, we have the Malini egg bag. And it, once again, comes with the instructions, egg, and brand new bag. And uh, Tamara is recording a couple bids, so we'll give her just a moment. Okay, what are we closing? The... Uh, Egg bag? Egg bag. Our egg bag is at 15, Dean V. 15 buckaroonies? All right. Dean, don't you have a couple of egg bags? I, I think he's... You can he's always use another one. Yeah. All right. Well, let's close that. We're at $15. And $15 going once. $15 going twice. Sold $15 to Dean V. Dean. Thank you, Dean. And soak to egg. Soak to egg is at 15. Gary Mings. All right. This is uh, $15 and $15 going once. $15 going twice. And sold $15 to Gary, Gary. Mings, the Ming Man. Thank you, Gary. Place. And we're, again, we're going to make our way around here. So topsy turvy bottles, keys, super silhouette, and gung ho. Okay. Here we go. Super silhouette. Super silhouette. No bids. No bids? All right. Well, let's save that for another day. Thanks, honey. How about the gung-ho box? Gung-ho box is at 10. David Trot. All right. Mm. Okay. So we're going to close that out in a minute. And actually, David, I have your, your other gung-ho box that is finished. Oh. touch up on that for him. So, yeah. And topsy-turvy. Topsy-turvy are at 15. David 15 Carl. keys. Keys are at... 30, that's Robbie Livingsbox. All right, we're gonna close these items out. Here we go, Gung Ho Box. Gung Ho Box, $10, David Trapp. All right, $10 going once. $10 going oh, twice. Oh, 15, 15. All right, we'll give that just a moment. Topsy Turvy, let's go ahead and we'll close these out. Okay, 15, David Trapp. $15, $15 going once. $15 going twice. And sold $15 to David, David Carl. Carl. All right. And next up, the keys. All right. Seven keys to bulb Kate. $30, Robbie Levin's bomb. All right. Santa. So I was actually reading, that was a, uh, that was a play, Broadway play, or? Hmm, I don't yeah. oh. So. Just a little bit of useless knowledge. I felt like stickly for a minute. I don't know if that's true or not, but it's it sounds on page good. Thirty. I don't think of... So yeah. I think it was. It's ice bedding. Pro box twenty. Oh well. Oh. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> oh here we go. Kurt's, Kurt's bidding now. All right, keys are at thirty. Robbie thirty dollars, and we're going to close Santa. those. Thirty dollars going once. Thirty dollars going twice. And sold to Santa. 30 Santa buckaroons. Thank you. Oh, thank you Gung ho box. 20, David Trot. You know, I was purposely trying to mess it up that time again. Look Whatever. Uh, how much? 20. 20 bucks. Here we go. $20 going once. $20 going twice. 
you sold twenty dollars to mr trash your truck thank you david before you know i actually just noticed this really makes a lot of sense on the uh, regular gung-ho box they have the jokers on both sides this one actually makes sense not having design on the back so you know you know which side is so you really have to intentionally oh yeah. separated at birth did you want to show them separated at birth separated at birth oh show them hey that. guys we're going to take just a brief uh break from our yes. auction here oh doug that? edwards says that was a 1947 movie seven keys yes okay. thank you doug thanks doug now separated at birth right there scott alexander and keith sickley <laughs> good god everybody loves magic everybody loves <laughs> magic <laughs> Uh, so for those of you guys that weren't here this past weekend, I know we've talked about it. You're, you're probably tired of hearing about it, but we had so a stand up convention. It was and, great. Uh, so much fun. I think everyone that was here had an awesome time. So all the reviews that we heard, uh, I actually learned quite a bit. There's a few new routines that I'm working on, thanks to you guys. Uh, Scott, you guys know Scott Alexander. I don't need to talk about it. Great material. So fun. And uh, David McCreary. Oh, funny, my funny, gosh. funny. So, so funny. Um, yeah, if you get a chance to see either of them uh, in your town, check them out. Just, yeah, it's just, it was a great weekend. So thanks to you, both of you for coming out, and thanks for everyone that attended. And um, we'll be doing it again next year. So yeah. getting back to the auction, uh, we're going to move right along here. Siberian Chain Escape, the Emergency Card, ten, ten. Cash Paddle, Wonder Glass, Appearing Champagne Bottle, and... Um, well, we'll just kind of move right. on down. Okay. Siberian yeah. Chain Escape. Es Gosh, I can't talk tonight. Escape. $10. Ten bucks. Doug okay. Edwards. The Wonder Glass. Wonder Glass is at 10 Bob Whitlatch. Okay. The Emergency Card. Emergency Card just went to 14 Kurt 14 Kurt. The Cash Paddle. Cash Paddle, 7 Kent Dixon. Okay. Appearing Champagne Bottle. Uh, $5 Lilo. And... Fill the house. Fill the house is at 10, Scotty G. All right, so we're going to close those items out in the next couple of moments. So get your final bids in. Actually, any item that we have oh. here, go ahead and get your final bids in because we're going we're gonna to close everything out real soon. Emergency card, card is 15. Yes. Okay. Kent. Sorry about Kent and Kurt. Kent and Kurt? Yeah. All right. Good. Siberian Chain Escape. Let's go ahead and close this out. $10. $10. And $10 going once. $10 going twice. Oh, yeah, $15. $15? All right, well, we'll give that just a moment at $15. Uh, how about the Wonder Glass? Wonder Glass is at $10, Bob Whitlatch. All right, $10 to Bob Whitlatch. Let's go ahead and we'll close that out. $10 going once. $10 going twice. And... Sold to Bob Whitlatch for ten buckaroonies. Thank you, Bob. Ooh, emergency seventeen. It is cute. I think it's the emergency cute. card is at seventeen. The flowers ten. There we go. Hey, Brandon. All right, and cash paddle. Cash paddle is at eight. Jason Lee. Okay. Siberian chain escape is at twenty. Dollars. Siberian chain escape is at twenty bucks. So we'll give $20. that just a moment. Uh, fill the house. Fill the house, uh, $10, Scotty G. Why don't you close right. that out? Yeah, let's close here. that out. So $10 on Fill the House CD, how to successfully promote your show in a theater. $10 going once, $10 going twice, sold. $10 to Scotty G. Scotty G. Thank you, Scotty. All right. Ambulance, 25. 25 on the, Still. we're calling that the ambulance? All right, or, or whatever. Still how fun is that? Feather flowers. Mm. Cool. All right, feather flowers just went up to 15, so we'll get to that in just a moment. Um, can we close out the Siberian Chain Escape? Uh, it's at 20. Dog. It's at 20? All righty. So Siberian Chain Escape, $20. $20. And $20 going once. $20 going twice. And... Sold for twenty dollars. Doug, Doug Edwards. Thank the you, Doug. ambulance is already at twenty-five. Kurt has it. Kent. Kurt and Kent. So, twenty-five buckaroonies currently. Kurt Cash paddle. It. Cash paddle is at eight. Jason. Eight. Ambulance. Awesome. Twenty-seven. Kent. All right. 
Let's close this out. Cash paddle is at eight dollars. Jason leave. Eight dollars going once. Eight dollars going twice. And sold for eight dollars to Jason. Jason. Thank you, Jason. And uh, emergency card is still twenty-eight. Kurt. All right, it's at twenty-eight bucks. The appearing champagne bottle. It's only at Excellent. seven. Sir Gallagher has it. All right. Well, what reserve is twenty. Um, let's give that just a moment. It didn't quite hit the reserve, but um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, where, where are we with the uh, coin production? Stop moving. It's at 20. Gary Mings, the big right. man. Tell you what, we're also going to include a, a jumbo Ooh. coin with this. So you can put it in a can or bucket, whatever you're going to do. So uh, we'll toss, toss that in. So let's go ahead and we'll close that out. The VHS. Waltzing Matilda, and the rest of the stuff. Here we go. The coin production, $20. Gary Mings, Ming Man. $20 going once, $20 going twice, and sold 20 buckaroons to Gary Mings. Gary. Thank Go you, Gary. Gary. Self-levitation video, VHS, very no happening stuff. No bids? No bids? Nope. Uh, how about Daryl's ambitious card? Nothing. No bids. Bye bye. How about David Roth, expert Frank coin Gita, $5. All right. That's a keto coin box routine. So $5 going once, $5 going twice, and sold to Frank Gata for $5. So I know we had mentioned to you guys uh, the uh, VHS transferring. The uh, Sony recorder is awesome. Uh, a couple Mondays ago, I think about two, three weeks ago, we showed you that. We've been having tons of fun with it, and I'm sure you guys will too. They're about $50 to $100 on eBay. So for those of you that uh, have a bunch of VHS or would like to acquire a bunch of VHS, um, it's very Friday easy night. to transfer those to a DVD <laughs> yourself. So there you go. Waltzing Matilda. Waltzing Matilda is at eight. Sir Gallagher has it. All right, it. Sir Gallagher. That sounds move. good. All right, let's close that out. Eight dollars going once, eight dollars going <coughs> twice, and sold for eight dollars too. William Gallagher. William Gallagher. Thank you, sir. How about the feather flowers? Sixteen, Chris Detling. All right, sixteen dollars. Hey, Chris. And he said he loved this weekend. They had a great time. Well, Chris, I'm glad you can make it out. And uh, for those of you that were here, we also had uh, Chris had brought out his wands and uh, chopped cup balls and uh, balls for the cups. And really just, sharp. Yeah, beautiful Very stuff. Nice. So if you guys are looking for a set, Flowers. contact okay. Chris. Um, Flowers are at 20 bucks. Right. How's the emergency card doing? The emergency card's at 35 Kurt the shirt. All right. Appearing champagne bottle? $7, Gallagher. Yeah, let, well, we're going to set that aside for another day. The uh, solid through solid frame. Is that 20, Scotty G? 20. And how about the uh, tip over box? Tip over is at 20, Mr. Trout. All right, 20 buckaroonies. So let's close everything out. Here we go, guys. <coughs> Emergency card. 35, D Kurt. 35. Here we go. $35 going once, $35 going twice, and sold. $35 to Kurt. Curtis the Shirtus. Mr. Gallagher says $20 on the bottle. There we go. <laughs> You want twenty dollars on the bottle? Let's do it. Reserve twenty bucks. Yes. Going once, twice, sold to Mr. Gallagher. Mr. Gallagher. Thank you, sir. The bouquet. Twenty-five, Chris Stetling. Twenty-five. Twenty-five going once. Twenty-five going twice, and sold to Chris Stetling. Twenty-five bucks. Awesome. Thank you. The solid through solid. That is at 20, Scotty G. 20 bucks, $20 going once, $20 going twice, sold for $20 to Scotty G. Scotty G. And the last up is our tip over box. $20, David Trot. 20 bucks to 20. Mr. Trot. Here we go. $20 going once, $20 going twice. Oh, wait, 20, the penetration cream. Is that the solid for solid? Yeah. That, yes. Okay, yes. That's already sold. Okay. We just sold it. Okay, sorry. Here we go. $20 going once, $20 going twice, and sold $20 to Mr. Trot. David Trot. Thank you, David. Thank you, sir. Whew. Wow, that was fast. Fast and furious. Come out this weekend to Stickly Farms. Oh. Ah, yes. Let's do, uh, do a oh. couple of promos. Oh, so this yeah. weekend, yeah. Uh, Stickly Farms is open. 
And, Super uh, fun. What, what do they have going on? They have hay rides. Uh, there are vendors there every weekend now, which is pretty awesome. But next Saturday and Sunday, from 1 to 3 each day, hay rides and all kinds of fun. Who's going to be Princess a special guest? Princess Weekend with Elsa. Story time. With Can you imagine Stickley dressed up as Elsa? It's going to be, be incredible. Awesome. I'm going to be Olaf. Oh, no, he would be a great Olaf. Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> I like warm hugs. Hope he, oh, my God. He's not watching. <laughs> oh, my God. No, so, yeah, every weekend they're open. Hay rides, corn maze, super slide, all kinds of pumpkins, stuff. caramel apples, oh, candy pumpkins. candy. Oh, when oh they those are, the slide is really awesome. After oh. you know, a couple of these, you oh. literally go airborne on it. You go airborne anyway. It you think you were on the Belle Isle slide? It's, it's so fun, but yeah, but if you have a little girl, little grandchild, or um, a wife who likes to dress up and wear a crown, you know. Um, Next week is Princess Weekend, so, so it'll be super fun. Yeah, it'll be fun. So uh, that's what's going on, and uh, we'll be open on Saturdays. I know we have a couple friends coming out this Saturday. Yeah, Jay, uh, 2 o'clock. A couple of big boxes of fun. Yeah. Or big, yeah. Yep, uh, and we will be packing. Hopefully, Jay will be back around tomorrow, if I not know. early next week. Uh, so, Jay, if you're watching, bad. get better. Um, but yeah, hopefully tomorrow we'll have some boxes going out, if not early next week. So get around to hopefully having crazy. everything out to you guys so thanks for tuning in as always we'll be around tomorrow morning it might be deal of the day with Tan no, it'll be it a deal be. of the day with somebody so anyway have a great night guys see you tomorrow see you later. thank you guys Whee!